Hey, how you doing out there? Elric Ferris here once again on the Motherboards.org YouTube channel. Welcome back. Okay, so check it out. There's going to be some new launches from AMD coming up. There's going to be a whole new series called the FM1 series. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the A8 3800 and the new motherboard that supports that from Gigabyte. This motherboard is the GA A75 UD4H. This is going to be their pretty much top of the line motherboard for media stuff. Now, one of the great things that's going to be coming out about this new APU is AMD is basically changing the format of technology. They're taking DirectX 11 graphics, the CPU, and everything else and putting it all in one thing and calling it an APU. This is actually even different than Intel Sandy Bridge, which is still using the code name of a CPU. So this is all new stuff. Now, what's really cool about it? This new CPU is going to run at 2.4 gigahertz. It's a quad core CPU and can be turboed up to 2.7 gigahertz. Now, keep in mind also though, that when it goes to 2.7 gigahertz, that's just doing it automatically, just like Intel's Turbo Boost does. Now, you'll be still be able to overclock the APU just like usual. Now, it's going to have a core of 440 megahertz and it's going to have a clock of 800 megahertz. This is kind of cool and it also features the onboard AMD 600, excuse me, the 6550D onboard graphics chip. So basically everything's all combined in this little thing right here. I'm going to flip this up here just real quick so we can just take a little look at this. This is actually the motherboard. It's going to have a lot of features for you guys that are coming out from Gigabyte. It's going to feature 32 gigabytes of DDR3 RAM. All of the SATA ports on it are going to feature all of the SATA 3, so you'll be able to use all of those new SATA 6 gigabit drives out there. Also, on the board has two PCI slots. It will support both SLI and Crossfire. Now, I know there's some rumors about that this chipset's not going to do that, but it will. The new 875A, excuse me, the new A875 chipset will support both of those in conjunction, which is kind of cool. Um, I mean, today we're really just going to do an introduction about this stuff, showing what's going on with it. We'll have like a full review in a couple of days. There's been already a leak onto the internet showing some scores. We'll show you those scores. Once again, take into consideration, these are not motherboards.org results. We're just showing you basically a first preview and look at this stuff. I don't even have the box. Was barely able to get this thing from Taiwan, so it's like a really, really super new thing. The I.O. is really cool, though. Features all the stuff you're going to need to get up and going if you want to make a media center. Also, this thing will also be able to separate. You'll be able to use the internal graphics or an inline graphics card as well. You can see it's all decked out. Features eSATA, features USB 3.0, has all the stuff that you need for graphics, DVI, VGA, HDMI, and of course, DisplayPort. So this is everything that's coming out. This stuff's actually due to hit the market in about July. Uh, we were really able to, I mean, feel really lucky to get our hands on this. But today, we're just basically bringing you two products to look at. Today, we're going to look at the GA A75 UD4H. And we're also taking a look at the new AMD A8 3800 APU. So, this is just the first look. We'll make sure we get some really nice shots of the board and everything for you guys to take a look at. And then look for the full review of this on motherboards.org within the next few days. Thanks for watching.